Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the wig editor to animate a falling object. First I'm going to change some properties. I will adjust the background color. That's better. Now I will click apply and it's done. We got new background color. My first shape will be rectangle, green rectangle without border. I will change border to zero. This will be my floor. Here it is. You can use the cursor to move it around or rescale it. I'm going to name this layer background and it's time to make a new blank layer as you can see the floor is only on the first frame so I need to drag and extend this first frame okay new layer and new shape I lock my background and move to layer number two to draw a new rectangle. It's my square. I will need one more shape. So I will need one more layer. I will rename this. And I will rename this as well. It's time for my second shape, this time circle, oval shape. Okay, we got square and circle, oval. I will use cursor to move it, move them both to the middle of the screen, middle of my artboard. Maybe a little bit higher. It's the shortcut command and minus to zoom out okay perfect we are ready to start our animation I'm going to add twin to the first frame thanks to that I don't need to worry about frames in between I just need to adjust the first and the last frame as you will see now I create last frame and move it down and everything in between is already made for me. The wig editor create all in between frames. I just show them the first position and the last one. And just two frames and we finish our square falling down. Now it's time for the ball. I add twin already. Now I'm going to extend that. And I will add new twin point to it. And like last time, everything between two twin points will be created for you by the software. You don't need to worry about frames in between. Can you see that? Okay. This time I want my shape to bounce from the floor. So I create a few more frames here. So extend this one again. And then one more twin point. can extend this one to see it okay and background as well back to our bouncing ball this is our contact point and I want our ball to squeeze a little bit on the contact with the floor so we can get this feeling of the impact hit the floor and squeeze okay perfect we will need a few more K 
keyframes. So I need to extend that even further. And now we need to make our ball bounce back. I just need to worry about keyframes. Everything in between will be made for me. Okay, it's bounced up and need to fall down again. Add twin. We got our keyframe and we can move the object. And one more here. A little bit of motion. Okay. Need to extend this one as well. And we are ready for our first try. Okay, look nice. I will adjust timing a little bit and speed this up so you will see the final result fast. Okay, so I will adjust just the timing for this bouncing ball and then I will show you the final video. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and see you next time.